Hello skydiving fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is my sans 3 minutes max. So far we've been talking about uh, uh, things that you can't believe on your computer, especially as a forensicator. When you're doing forensics it's expected that you're going to find all the good stuff or all the bad stuff as it were. Uh, and we've been showing you a couple of different places where you can't always believe what you're seeing. You can't always trust what Microsoft's telling you. Well, today is going to be no different. Today we're going to talk about the jump list. Now, I know that uh, in a previous episode we did uh, we looked into the jump list in terms of what artifacts are in there and how we can use them and what tools we can use to parse them. But what about getting at the jump list files. Remembering that jump list is uh, the stuff that comes out of your taskbar. So let's just jump over to uh, the computer for just a moment and uh, we can see that we've got our recent items folder open uh, but before we get there I want to show you where the jump list comes from. So on your taskbar you have uh, various icons that will take you to certain programs and you can see that when we right click on them we're given certain options. We can also see uh, when uh, history has been kept. So if Microsoft Word was down here, we'd see the recent files that were opened. If we were configured to do so, our browser would keep track of the websites that were open. But where are these things? Well, I can tell you they're in the recent items folder, but we are currently in the recent items folder and we don't see them. That is because even though we've got the showing of system files and folders enabled, uh, we're supposed to be able to see everything. We can't see everything. So let's go see if we can find out where these things are. If we know that they're there, we can just go there directly. Automatic destinations. And it will take us in here and it will show us. Each one of these is a jump list related to a particular program. Now, what we could do is we could go back to where we were in recent items and we could drop down to the command line. Remember we did that before? And we could go, dir. It's going to show us everything, as you'll recall, that was in our recent items folder. But let's go back up to the top and see what we can see. We have a directory here. We have a directory here. What else do we see in here? Do we have any other directories that might be interesting to us? If we look through here, we are going to see our custom destinations and our automatic destinations. So if we wanted to, at the command line, we could go dir automatic destinations, and we get to see them inside the recent items folder. There are also custom destinations, a different place where we can get artifacts from. Why are they hidden from the supposedly not hidden files? I can't answer that. That's something you're going to have to use ask Microsoft about. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.